Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am the president of Chickenlandia, and this is part two of my chicken coop renovation. So if you've already watched part one of my chicken coop renovation, you know that my friend Julie and I emptied out the chicken coop and I pulled out the ladder and the sawhorse so that I could clean it up and get it painted. So without further ado, let's start where we left off. I feel just like Linda Carter. <laughs> Assimilate this. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I need to get all the chickens inside of their little pen, and that's where they're gonna stay for the rest of the day. You guys ready? Oh, look, they're almost all are all in there already. Fastest painter, but it's getting there. <laughs> wow! Look at that. It already looks so different. <laughs> Okay, it has been a long day. We got all the painting done. We didn't get everything done like I wanted to. <laughs> Big surprise. Um, and the chickens have to sleep in their pen tonight because there's still a bit of lingering paint smell and I just don't want to chance it. They're really mad at me right now, but they'll be okay. They will settle down. I'll be out here first thing in the morning to finish up. I. It looks really good so far, so I'm pretty happy with it. Tomorrow's gonna be even better. So it is the next day. Julie and Annika are already here. They're finishing up some trim and they're putting up some pictures for me. So I don't wanna show you too much right now because it's almost done, but it's looking really good. I'm so excited. They spent the night here last night. <laughs> and Angry Marshmallow is very angry. But they did okay. Julie's in there right now putting up some pictures. So I am looking for a hammer. Julie asked me to find a hammer for her because um, actually a fan told me on Instagram that there was some exposed nails sticking out on the walls of my coop, which I had not seen. So that's the lovely thing about 
my fans is that they will let me know. He was like, oh, you know, you've got some exposed nails there and that could hurt the chickens. And then I noticed it. I really did not see it. So I've got to push those nails down so that they're not just like sticking out. And you know, my chickens are flying all over the place. <laughs> They're posing. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. It looks amazing. I can't wait. Oh, can't see. Can't see yet. We've got to put these in, and we've got some cute pictures up in there, and it looks awesome. And of course, none of this would happen if it weren't for you two. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So I am just putting one more coat on the trim here on the back window. Julia and Annika have left, so this is all I need to do and then I can start getting the stuff back in here and show you guys the finished product. Um, and you know, I was thinking about something. Uh, I got a comment that really kind of made so much sense to me and kind of brought me back down to earth, down to Chickenlandia, <laughs> where I am supposed to be. Because in the first part of this chicken coop renovation series, I make a comment where I was like, you know, I'm kind of ashamed of the way my chicken coop looks and I'm really looking forward to being proud of it. And, you know, I knew I was proud of the way my chicken coop looked before and I still am. But there, I was feeling a little bit of pressure to have like this super, fancy coop like I see so much in magazines and on other blogs other big chicken blogs so you know I was feeling a little bit insecure but one of my fans pointed out to me that they love the way my coop was because it was real and that not everybody can afford to have some big fancy coop and it's so true and it shouldn't be a requirement to afford a big fancy coop in order to have chickens. And part of my whole passion as the president of Chickenlandia, something that's super important to me, is to keep chicken keeping inclusive. Mr. Miyagi style. <laughs> up, down, up, down. <laughs> Best movie ever. super happy. Julie and Annika did such an amazing job. I'm so grateful to them. And if you're wondering why I get help, I'll just be totally honest and tell you that I am a backyard chicken educator. I know a lot about chickens. I love teaching about chickens. But when it comes to building things, building my chicken coop, painting my chicken coop, all of that, I'm not as confident. So yesterday, after I painted the ladder and the sawhorse and after I put the nesting boxes up by myself I felt so good and I really felt like you know what I'm going to start doing some more things on my own that is the beauty of having backyard chickens they will change you they will change who you are they will change what you think you can do and they'll get you up every single morning to let them out of the coop <laughs> chickens are going to be so happy when I finally let them in here. <laughs> they are so ready, but there's still some paint that has to dry, so they still have to wait a little bit longer. 